Hi crafters, it's Muriel. Welcome back to my channel. So tonight I wanted to wrap up the hauls that I did uh, this weekend. We went to a wedding in a separate, another part of town uh, that I typically do not go visit. And I went ahead and took advantage of visiting their Super Walmart, their Target, their Tuesday morning, their Hobby Lobby, their, yeah, Joann's, all of that. Just got it out the way. So this super Walmart was really super big, almost too big. So I just went straight to the craft section. And um, I am putting together an Easter basket at work. So I wanted to get some things. So here is a bag of mixed grass, palm, palm decor, and egg confetti. And it said woman owned, so I had to get it. So, so I thought that was really cute. Those colors are really popping. I also got some jelly bean uh, scented grass, and it does have a smell. Um, so, got it in green. I picked up some mounting tape. We're familiar with this one. I usually use a straight white, but I thought I would try the Scott's brand. I got two spools of gold chain. I usually a lot of times use a lot of silver. So I wanted to um, go ahead and get the kind that I liked, which is this link here. So I picked up two, I think they were $6 each. And then I got some card stock. This is some craft card stock that is 80 pounds, 60 sheets. And I think this was like $5. So um, I have so many different shades of craft card stock. It's just a joke. So I got this one, and then I picked up some white. And this is by Astro Brights. It's a premium smooth cardstock. It, too, is 65 pounds. You get 80 sheets, and it's formerly the Nina Bright White. So got that. So that was all at Walmart. Didn't stay in there long. Oh, there was one more thing I picked up. I'm sorry. And it was this scrap pack. This was $2. They had several of them. And, um, you know, I didn't want to open them up and look at them. But when I got back to the hotel room, I did. So there's just a variety of dark shades. This is some dark green. There's some dark brown. What really uh, caught my eye was this pattern here. Almost looks like a wallpaper. And then the red has gold flakes or flecks through it. And it seems to be, it feels like it's recycled for some reason. Very textured. And then they had a few sheets of these. So that was all I gave to Walmart. And then uh, my Dollar Tree, it was a big one. So I got me some more sponge, um, uh, sponge brushes. Um, I picked up these beautiful gold um, with beautiful pink and blue uh, butterflies. Just 12 of them. Really pure, pretty dimensional. Um, some more pop dot tape. Um, the Easter cards that I just made, I've been using a lot. And I needed this smaller size. Some more of that. I did find the pom-pom trim in the pink and green. Really, really pretty. Okay, and of course, this Dollar Tree was $1.25 as well. Um, I found some ribbon. I, I didn't have any Easter ribbon in my stash, so I got this cute bunnies with the cotton tail, uh, Easter eggs, and then the carrots. So really, really pretty. And um, I finally found these, the confetti. This one has the, mine didn't have these. And, I, and she, the lady here at my local Dollar Tree assured me that we prob they probably wouldn't get it. So I just jumped on it. So cute chicks, the beautiful cute flowers, and then the bunnies. So really, really cute. And I found some twine in two different uh, colors. This is cotton string. I don't think they have the, the name of the colors, but you can see it's kind of a grayish and then a uh, light, like a tan color. Okay, that goes out the way. And then some fabric. Um, I'm still working on my sewing machine, Louisa so that I can make my own um, ruffle trims. Louisa sometimes send me some, which I certainly appreciate. This is just a orange and white polka dot I just thought was so cute. And then there is the gingham, the blue and white gingham. Oh, this is so sharp. I don't want to cut the fabric, but you can kind of see. Really pretty. 
And then this one has some butterflies on it. So we'll open up this one. Oh, that's close. Let's see here. They had some other ones. And I saw some that Louisa had purchased that were even cuter. But um, we were just kind of like in. I was just kind of on the grab and go train at these stores. So look at that one. That one's really pretty. Beautiful butterflies. Okay, so that was my Dollar Tree haul. Let me move these things out the way. I'm going to try to get some uh, crafting in tonight. I got some dies that I want to play with. Um, so we're going to do that and have a quick meal. And then I'm going to get busy in here. Okay, the next haul I did was uh, Hobby Lobby. Very small. I never get Hobby Lobby's double-sided foam tape. It was $4.99, so I thought I'd jump on it. Five yards. So just to see how good that is. Um, I saw this on someone's channel. I think it was um, Anna White. She had picked these up. These are the metallic sticker books from Tim Holtz. So the words are uh, gold on black. And then there is, so there's two sheets. Oh, no, then it has the labels. It's all postage stickers, whatever you want to use them for. And then these are gold on white. Two sheets of those. And then same thing, the gold uh, labels with the seals. So pretty. And then I think that was that for that one here. Like, love that. Um, I think I picked this up. Yes, this is a Hobby Lobby. This is a um, scalloped edge um, die, which will cut out really, really pretty. And that was $9.99. I believe their dies were 40% off. And then I got this one here. It fits an A2 size card. Um, and it just has like the honeycomb pattern. I don't know if there's a name for it, but it looks just like honeycomb. And then I got some more flowers. Um, the last time I made my wedding cards, I couldn't find the pink that I wanted. So I just picked those up. I'm going to throw these in my wedding folder so that I'll always have them. And then I picked this up. This is the um, Sizzix. You get the brush and then this mat is what I really wanted. So that when I cut out die cuts that I have to poke through like for this one here, then you can just run this brush across it and it'll just poke out. And then this is just a um, pokey tool that you can use. And then this one here, I had no idea. You put this on the bottom of this and it picks up the dies. You can see it there picking up the dies. It collects, it uh, snaps, right? So you just snap it in. After you use the pokey to poke your, uh, you know, the tools the letters out of the die and there you are running the brush across it to get rid of all of the little pieces so that was that at Hobby Lobby and that too was huge a big Hobby Lobby and um when I got to the register she says did you find everything you want and I said yes I said um I was looking for some dies I said I got a few she said oh we're gonna slash the prices on Monday of course you are when I'm getting ready to leave. Of course, of course. So I'm just like, oh, well, it is what it is. In the words of Michelle Obama. So next was Joann's. Love Joann's. I picked this die, this uh, stamp set. I think I have it. I think I picked it up at my Joann's a week and a half ago. And if I did, oh, well, I'll have two now. It's not in my stamp drawer, but I think I did because I just love how the letters were shaped and how everything could go sideways or, you know, if they were long. You can put them on the card that way. So this was marked down to $8.97. So I picked up a uh, Mac stack. I believe these were 50% off, and it's just holographics. So very, very shiny. Very pretty. Um, I got my Scrap Diva die. We'll talk about that later. I'm going to play with that. Um, this is another die for $7.97. It's like a honey pot. Really cute with the lid, the little spoon. And then this says, oh my gosh, I think that says honey. Yes. So that's going to be fun to play with. And then this one here is pretty similar to the one I just showed you. 
it looks like honeycomb. It was $11.97, and it's a little bit bigger. So it'll be interesting how these look um, when I make them with some cards. They also had the thickers. They were buy two, get one free. And I chose this here because I have still have lots of paper by uh, American Craft um, of this. I can't think of the name. Uh, I don't want to say it without being correct. So, But um, I love this collection. And like I said, I needed some more of the um, uh, stickers and embellishment because I have so much paper. And then I just got this one, just some um, high five. Just some words. You're awesome, happy, think. You know, on the other side, you have some of those. Hashtag one, fun, oh so, yay, happy. And then I got a paper pad of die cuts. I typically don't. I think I bought one Halloween. And um, I use it every year. And I'm really happy that I got it. And this one here, same thing. So you have some uh, banners here with words on them, some borders, some tags. And you get two sheets of each. Here's a page of some beautiful large flowers, again, with some journaling spots. And here is a bunch of uh, summer-themed trucks, food trucks. Some I, Look at this. I three scoops to put on that cone. That'll be cute for a card. Taco. Um, a sheet with some words and gold, different colors. Cutie pie. Hello, beautiful. Then this one here, same thing, has some... Um, banners some borders some more uh three by four cards and there's some die cuts here of hearts and circles with leaves on them definitely easy to pop together and make a card i love that i was going to make a card like that recently with the words just like that and some more tags then it has this one i love this one because it's a beautiful large bicycle beautiful floral uh, piece here the cups adorable they can be stacked inside and then a sentiment and there's your card lots of uh leaves and flowers and these cute little um envelopes two pages of that then there's more birds and more flowers with um, some gold throughout really really pretty some more um cards you can put these inside your cards or if you're going to make a tag um album those would be good for that alphabets of course and then if you like unicorns there's all of this to play with every flower grows through dirt yeah <laughs> then some large gold words family welcome how big that home is these be cute be really cute on a big um uh, shop um paper bag then there is some black and white this is all about travel so really cute really really cute I'm glad I got it. First, I was like, oh, why did I get that? I'm not going to use it. But hopefully, I will. Because when I need uh, to make a card, like, really quick, this is where I'll go to. And then some of the, the yama, llamas. So cute with the cactus. And then this page here with just a little bit of everything. Look at those cute glasses. The word smile. Lips. Really cute. And then last, there's a page uh, for um, celebration for birthday. You have some candles. You have some envelopes with the cake big happy birthday celebrate hats and then there's this page here so there's a big brown bear another bicycle arrow really really cute i'm glad i got it it's called die cut shapes by dcwv okay and i think that is it you guys i'm going to put this stuff away again i need to finish up a um some cards that I started making and get my, um, I got a haul, not a haul, but I have a, um, uh, what do you call it? a challenge that I'm in and I want to get that packaged up so that it can go out next week. So I thank you guys for your patience with me with this video. I really had a good time shopping. I really did. I, I love to shop and just to find some different stuff and, um, somewhere where I normally don't shop at. I was just excited. So until my next video, you guys take care. I'll talk to you then. Bye now.